Hi, I'm Laura Veers, and I'm here talking with my husband Tucker Martin about our new record, which is called Tumblebee. So we decided to make an album for children because we have a child, and also because we were interested in digging back through time and discovering a bunch of the old folk songs of our country. And it was really a fun exercise in research and also in experimentation with arrangement and practically speaking, it was fun for me to, to learn these songs and then sing them to my son who's a year old. We discovered that we were both fans of the old Folkways catalog. They're kind of the original rec recording label for, for music for children. You know, going back to Woody Guthrie Records and Pete Seeger and Peggy Seeger and um, Ella Jenkins, on and on. And so we got curious about digging deeper into kind of the roots of children's music and the American folk tradition, and it led us to a lot of the songs on this record. And some of them were like Jump Down, Spin Around were work songs. We leaned a little heavier on some old time sounds, which are things that we like, but they aren't necessarily qualities that we want to emphasize too much on Laura's own music, but this was sort of a fun chance for us to have an outlet for our, our love for, you know, those sounds. We just had a bunch of pals come over to Tight Foundry, which is a recording studio here in Portland, and just sing together live, and it turned out great. They really woodshed ahead of time and learned the different choral parts, which are a little bit complicated. And then Brian Blade, who's an amazing drummer, came and drummed over the top of their singing uh, later in the living room. So Tumblebee is the title of Carl Blau's song, which makes an appearance on the record. And also, I just felt like it fit the feeling of this album because um, you imagine like a bee tumbling through flowers or a bright happy sound and this is a pretty jaunty recording it's not very slow there's a couple of lullabies on it but mostly it's upbeat sort of tumbling songs so I thought that the image of a, a bumblebee tumbling through space was good for the, for the name of the record. I think we were really drawn to the freedom of let's just pick some songs that would be really fun to do and have fun with it, not be precious about it. It was easier to be less critical because it's, you know, Laura doesn't feel this necessarily the same sense of ownership over each word in a way that you, you know, might be analyzing up until the last day. and. They're just these time-tested, great old songs that we had fun with, and we we wanted that fun to come through on the recording. King Kong Kitchi Kitchi Kai Mio is a song on the anthology of American folk music that Harry Smith put together way back in the day. Um, we just went through that and. That song was on there, and it was the one that surfaced out of 50 songs, or more. There's probably a, a hundred songs on that anthology, but King Kong just surfaced as one that worked. I, I love the gibberish aspect of that, and the just weird story behind it. It was fun to do. It's, it's got an appealing nonsense about it. Not quite sure what it means, but it's really fun to say over and over. <laughs> Shadows slowly creeping. Kids love the Beatles, you know. Uh, they just they just like if you put good music in front of them. So so we definitely kept that in mind that we just need to make something that that we enjoy that maybe we feel like is kind of speaking to a to a, our childlike nature, in a sense, or is maybe a, an old lullaby. You know, we we looked into things that that related to children in some way, but but we wanted something that we could just hand to a friend of ours without having to make a disclaimer about 
well, sorry, it's for kids, or, you know. I mean, I'd like to think that most fans of your music that don't have children will also enjoy it. I mean, that was That's part the hope. of the idea. I mean, it has a lot of the same musicians and same producer and, you know, my voice, which is central to it. And so I think, I mean, we definitely wanted to make something that appealed to all ages, and I think we did. I like it, I'm proud of it, and I love the artwork. Carson Ellis, who did artwork for my last album, July Flame, knocked it out of the park on this one as well. She's so great. I love her work, and so we've got a, a great team of people behind this one. And I think it's cool. It's a different thing, and it, it was fun for me to step away from my own songwriting and do something new for this one. To operary Yodelay, Olay, 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 Olay.